Good morning all. So this is day one. Um, I've had, uh, I've only just woke up, so you have to excuse me. But I've had my first night's sleep in the hotel. Wait, wait, look, look, look. This is my view from my hospital room window. This is my hospital room. Excuse the mess. Mm hmm. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get everything sorted. Got a TV. Yes, it's all good. It's got, uh, but the most important thing, the aircon unit. That it's it's paramount. It's paramount. It was so warm last night. Okay, that you just you, there is no duvet cover. You you do not need a duvet cover. It is so so warm. Uh, I mean, obviously we're in Thailand. Um, it was amazing. I've got a great view out the window. Like an amazing view at the wind can do some magic trickery here, right? Um, so, but look at, would you look at that? It's just so nice. Hmm, I've got a hundred times zoom on this, so let, let's push this to the, oh there, there we go, that's a hundred times zoom, it's hard to actually keep it still. Um, it's crazy, I mean. It's beautiful. I would love to go downtown um, and see what it's all about. But yes, let me see if I can try and look around. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's it's really nice. It's really nice, and they're looking after me. And uh, what do you think is the main the main thing? Oh, got an amazing bathroom. I've got just wardrobes, loads of wardrobe space. See, you've got a little light in there. How cool is that? Oh, that's really good. Oh, no, it's the small things in life. Um, got the safe to keep things, well, safe. And my bathroom. This is my bathroom. It's very, oh, it's a bit of light. A bit of light. Oh, there we go. You get a little pack when you, when you get here and you've got like your toothpaste. Baby powder, okay, not quite sure on that one, but still. Um, I to get shower cap, comb, and I've already opened these, because obviously I've had a shower. Um, but you get this shower gel, shampoo and conditioners in there as well, so it's really good. Like I say, it's just the little things, it's the little things that make things uh, so much more happier. Um, and you've got the shower, you have to excuse my but obviously, obviously, you've seen by my pictures, I wear a wig, obviously, because my hair's poop. My hair is poop. That's, that's, that's it. So, it's, I've got, you can see, like, I've like, got this animal hung up on the side. No, 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 it's my hair. <laughs> okay. It's real hair. It cost me an absolute fortune. But I will be going to see my friend James in Blackpool, who's going to be sorting me out once this is sorted out once i've got my body sorted right so um excuse the hair it's not a dead animal okay <laughs> so we just slide that to one side but yes i just wanted to show you the shower room so it's a wet room it's a, it's everything is just brilliant it's just so nice here um now obviously it's you know i'm, I'm going for gender reassignment surgery so it's it's not it's not the cheapest of things in the world um, but you really do get your money's worth. So, it's going to get to the door. Hospital panicky button, don't go pressing that. Although it was very tempting last night just to see how, what the response time is. <laughs> you know, like, hmm, should I? No, but I didn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's just a matter of, I'm just settling in. I've got, I've had a COVID test. Um, I will go through the whole ins and outs, I can't keep still, I need to sit down really. Uh, I will go through the whole ins and outs ooh, of, uh, oh, I've got to show you these, I've got to show you these. They give me these as well. I thought, this is brilliant. Oh, they're so comfortable. I got the, these sliders, they were, <clears throat> um, they were just in a, in a pack on the end of the bed here. And they just, I've never wore sliders in my life, like seriously, never wore them. Um, but they are comfortable, like really comfortable. So it's all good. 
Um, so yes, um, I will at some stage go through the whole um, process of how you, uh, or, or how I did it, how I, uh, um, you know, search for the right hospital, um, the right surgeons, uh, how to obtain the correct paperwork to get to Thailand, to, to get to the, uh, um, you know, the right hospital. Um, if you've not used, if you've not noticed from my um, Facebook posts and groups and pretty much every social media platform that I use, which is quite a lot, I don't just use Facebook, okay? Um, the Camel Hospital in Thailand, Bangkok in Thailand, is where I'm at now. <laughs> I'm so excited! Um, but this is who I use. I've done all the research, I've... Um, you know, I've been searching for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, if not months and months, um, to find the right surgeon, to see who is the best out there. And, you know, uh, Dr. Camel is super amazing. Um, this is based on what I've read about him. Uh, this is based on the people that I've spoke to who have had operations uh, from him. So it's not just a... Um, Oh, he looks good, I'll go with him. You know, there's a lot of research. At the end of the day, it's your body, it's your, it's your mind, you know. You've got, to, you've got to have that equilibrium between your mind and your body, you know. Um, for me, my, my body's not matched my mind f for most of my life. So, it's, it, you know, it, it's finding that, that balance, like I say, that, that equilibrium. So it's a great word that isn't it equilibrium um so <clears throat> yeah you know you've got to find that find your chi you know um so for me, getting this operation is absolutely everything. I can't progress with my life until until I've had this operation you know it's that's just that's just how it is um and anybody that knows me will will understand that but um but I will. Be doing videos I will put them on my YouTube channel I have a YouTube channel that's purely dedicated to um, my journey you know um, uh, yes yeah, so I will leave a link in the bottom um, uh, for my YouTube channel you're more than welcome to subscribe and I will be posting daily videos uh, whilst I'm here and throughout you know, um, and it, it it is a transgender journey, um, and it's my vlog. So I'll um, yeah, I'll keep doing it. I've not posted any videos up at the moment. I was just getting the platform live, and the platform's live at the moment. Um, and I've got six subscribers. Very strange. Um, but um, thank you to those subscribers. If you are indeed watching this video, and you are. Um, uh, um, a part of my my Facebook posse. Um, I love all you guys on Facebook, and I don't actually um, spend a lot of time um, putting up videos because I'm so busy at the minute doing a lot of promotional work. Um, so fear not, peeps. Um, I will show you my YouTube channel now. It is a transgender vlog my journey and um it that's me that that is me that is me looks nothing like me now because i don't have my hair but yes that that is the one i hope you like the graphics took me ages it took me ages to do that <laughs> yes um so so yes keep watching peeps um i will be doing uh, daily I've cut myself and I don't know how I've done that. That's hard. Is it weird? Do you ever get that when you wake up with a cut and or, or <laughs> a bruise and you're like, how the hell did I do that? Yeah, I've got one on my leg. How the hell did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Um, yes, so I'll, um, we'll be doing videos at a later date, um, as I've said, just to, just to help 
people um, actually get here uh, for the right reasons, you know, for, for operational reasons. Uh, it's not an easy task, it's a bit uh, laborious. Uh, but to give you a quick rundown, you, you need um, a certificate of entry, you need a medical visa and all the corresponding paperwork to get those. Um, you also need a negative COVID test with a fit to fly certificate. Now, here's the thing with that. Um, you can get those, it's easily done. Uh, but, but, some people, especially Thailand, uh, require it over two documents. You normally get it just on one document. So you have to ask the company. I can recommend a company as well. Um, but um, uh, uh, PM me and I'll, 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 uh, I'll give you that info. Um, but yes, two documents. Very strange. But anyway, that's just how it is. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't make that mistake. Get all the way here and then them go, no, you're not coming in. Um, but um, yeah, when you get to the uh, um, the Thailand airport, not quite sure of the name, but in Bangkok, whew, very stringent. Yes, indeed. Um, very, very uh, um, organized. It's so, so organized. Like they've got like rows of chairs and they're like, right, sit down. And you'd be, well, they're not, they're actually really nice. Uh, <laughs> they're like, sit down. No, no, at gunpoint. No, 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 it's not like that. Um, but they're really, really super, super professional. And um, yeah, it's just, everything was just like conveyor belt, like just pop, 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 one after the other. And then they got me to sit down somewhere else. And I'm like, I'm sat here on my own. And everybody else is going out the airport. So I was like, Excuse me, Mr. Nice Man. I was like, why am I sat here on my own? They went, oh, no, 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 you, <laughs> you're going to the Camel Hospital. Well, there's four other people that are going to the Camel Hospital. I was like, oh, okay, right, I don't feel so um, <laughs> um, awkward now, you know, so. Yeah, so anyway, but I will be doing videos to, uh, I'll be doing different videos and posting them up on my YouTube channel. Um, onto how to get these particular documents, which is a pain in the ass, honestly. Oh my God. Um, but it's all worked out and I'm here. And I, well, hopefully as soon as I get this bloody negative COVID test, uh, you have one as soon as you get it, because you've got to do two weeks quarantine. Uh, now, I'm quarantining at the hospital that I'm having the surgery at. So it's kind of like, the, so everything's moving forward um, whilst I'm quarantining, so if, I mean, you know, when this COVID test comes back negative, which it will, because I'm negative, um, you know, the, I think we're just going to go go flat out with the, uh, uh, um, you know, the start of the operation. Um, I don't know, that's that's what I think, I don't know, but I will keep you updated on that. Um, but yes, this is day one of the not so tired, I was so tired yesterday after that um, flight, because you got... I went from uh, Manchester to Dubai, which was seven and a quarter hours flying. And I hate flying, right? I've got this big fear. Anybody that knows me will know that I have a fear of flying. And I don't know why, because if it's perfectly safe, <laughs> you know. But when you see them wings bouncing around like this, you, you think they're going to break off. Or I do, anyway. Mm, yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Um, but uh, no, it was perfectly fine, obviously, because I'm here. Um, and so, gets to Dubai, have a two and three quarter hour um, stay there, which was very nice. Loads of shopping, and everywhere's open. Yes, I so miss that. Uh, didn't, didn't buy anything, obviously. Um, and then another six hours from Dubai to Bangkok, which, which was brilliant because I think at one point I looked at the, the, the screen and there was like, you got six hours to go. And I was like, mm. um, blinked, looked at the screen again. And he was like, you've got two and a half hours to go. I was like, yes, I fell asleep. <laughs> brilliant. So yeah, so that was really good actually. Um, yeah, so the second flight just went like that. <laughs> and I watched it, you got your own little TV on the headrest in front of you, so I watched a movie and um, we landed. 
Emirates Airline. Highly recommend it. <laughs> the best thing is, the alcohol was free. Yes, people, you heard it right. It was free. Um, I couldn't believe it. I got I got some money out of my pocket, and I was like, "How much do I owe you for the for the drink?" Because I did get a little bit of a a karma downer, uh, <laughs> which which con consisted of two little bottles of brandy that I poured in my coffee. Well, I didn't pour both of them in because that'd have been <laughs> that'd be really strong. But yes, um, brandy with coffee, mm, Spanish thing, love it. Um, I was like, "How much do I owe you?" She was like, "No, no, no. It's part. It's part of the um, part of the price." I was like, "Ha! I'm gonna rinse you, girl. That's it." <laughs> so, yeah. so every time she walked past, she'd hand me a bottle, to save me from asking. So I was a little bit naughty there, but uh, it was it was lovely. It was great. It was such a lovely Emirates Airlines. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to end this. Um, this little bit of a chat, it's just to keep you updated on what's happening. Um, look at that view, it's so nice. Well, the, 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 that bit's not so nice, but the view in the background, much nicer. There we go. Um, so yeah, I will keep you updated. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, if you've got any questions, comment below. And um, yes. Enjoy your day. You may get another video later because it's pretty boring sat in a room on your own. Even though you're in Thailand, it's still a bit boring. Because um, I can't do anything. I can't get out and see the people. Um, I get a lot of, I've get a lot of questions. Um, oh, what do you wear and this and the other? So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. Um, there we go. So today. I have got my little denim number on. I love this skirt actually, it's really comfortable. And my camo top. This actually should have been a, when I ordered it, <laughs> it was a dress. It was a, um, a mini dress. But can you honestly see that as a mini dress? Everything will be hanging out all over the place. So I wear it with my denim skirt, it's comfy, uh, I think I look alright, apart from I've not got my hair on and I really do miss my hair, I need to sort that out today, so next time you may see me with my hair on. Uh, you're very lucky or unlucky, I don't know, to see me in my raw format, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I do get asked a lot um, private messages, what do you actually look like? And I'm like, this, the pictures I show you, well no, no. That is how I will look like. That's how I'm going to end up looking like. This is how I look. Now, oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I only need to wear my glasses to read. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so this is what I look like now. Am I going to take my hat off? No. No, I'm not. Because I'm growing my hair, and my hair is absolutely shocking at the moment. That's why I'm not going to take my hat off. Um, because that's when you go, ooh, ooh, uh, uh, but yes, so I'm growing my hair to get extensions put in, so, but I'll keep you updated on that as we go along on my journey. Um, so just a big shout out to, um, anybody transgender that is watching this, much love, keep strong, keep doing what you do, and be yourself. Um, that's what I do, uh, it's taken me a long time to... Uh, um, realise who I am as a person um, that's another video but I will upload that to my YouTube channel um, I've got loads of ideas loads of great ideas um, at some point I want to do like um, Q&A's and meet and greets like I said I've, you know, uh, just to summarise 35 years 35 years I've been living a life of denial and now I am free Free like a butterfly, I have emerged from my cocoon of unhappiness, and now I am happy. Almost. Once I've had the operation, so excited. I am so, so, so genuinely excited. Look, they've even got designer water. <laughs> Let me try. There we go. Designer water. It just tastes like water, though. It's just water. Um, but, yes. So everything is going perfect so far. But I will keep you updated, people. 
much love to you all. Take care, and I shall speak with you all very soon. Bye-bye.